Hi, I'm Peter Birch. I'm down here in southern Florida and I've taken the opportunity to catch up with my mate Will. He's going to take us road riding tonight. Hopefully we're going to have some luck and find some pretty cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. Welcome to Critic Cam. Righto, Will, what do we got, man? It's a little ring neck snake. It's actually, uh, yeah, he's got a little orange ring around his neck there. These yep. guys, coral snakes, actually love to eat these guys. It's like their number one food choice right there. Mm. Look at that color on the belly. Yeah. It's, yeah. Look at that bright oranges and reds. It actually starts starts off as yellow, kind of here, and then it goes down. Oop. That's a pretty cool find. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Little guy. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much full grown one right there. I tell you what, you definitely got the eye. <laughs> they're they're eggs too, their eggs are about that big. Tiny little things. There you go. Come here. Good thing the road's still nice and warm and the moon's still sitting a little bit low. Yeah. I tell you what, mosquitoes aren't leaving me alone. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. you gotta watch out for too. Absolutely The badass. horse flies. The bush flies. Oh, bush flies. <laughs> oh man, mosquitoes, bush flies, snakes. Snakes. <laughs> Oh, crocodiles. The night is young. And gone. he's gone. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what else we can find. Mosquitoes <laughs> are bad! <laughs> what is the story, man? This place is the land of the giants. Look at the size of these things. That's not even big. That's actually kind of small. Um, I've seen much, much larger out here. They get, I've least seen at least five, six Ooh. inches. I mean, they're very colourful. Yeah. I, I and love, as luck would have it, I you know, if I pick guys. this up, I'm going to get bit. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my luck. That's actually the female. Yeah? Yeah. So the female doesn't bite. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. They're perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> says as he gets much. Yeah. See? You're good. I survived. Very colourful, really cool grasshoppers. Yes. Beautiful. This guy doesn't like me, he's coming to attack because I've got oh, his girlfriend. Oh, don't you know that they're coming for the plague, they're coming for you. <laughs> oh yeah, they're <laughs> joining the mosquitoes. Giant bugs and snakes. Oh, yeah. I mean, what the hell is this? This is actually a, it's a brown water snake, he's just very, very light in color. I mean, the ones I usually see are like a big chocolate color, right? Yeah, yeah, they, and they'll get those, those brown spots, but he is just, every little bit of him is very, very light. Um, Definitely young, I mean, but still probably the lightest colored I've ever seen. So obviously non-venomous. No. But willing to bite, right? Of course. Yeah, most of the brown water snakes I've had uh, incidents with, they are really willing to chew on you. Yeah, they, they definitely do. Um, particularly these guys because they eat fish and frogs and stuff like this. You can, I can already smell it sitting right here. Uh, <laughs> you smell it? It's musking yeah, up. Yeah, that, that, that smell yeah. is just horrible. He knows, he knows we're here. You can see he's in that defensive posture. He's very alert. Yeah. And um, I'm guessing if one of us touches that, that's um, going to equal a bite. Yeah. yeah. We don't really want to upset him, but we need to get no, him off yeah. the road because we're not the only ones out here, are we? No, definitely not. So um, I'll leave you to it. So you're the one that gets skunked, oh, not me. You're such a good friend. I know. I'm, I'm so generous like that. Hey, look, he's going to make it easy for you. He's not going to bite you. He's just going to skunk you up bad. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh. Delicious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah crutch shot, really nice. Really nice. I don't know. What, do you, what can you tell me about this one? Like, <laughs> it's 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 a pretty coloured snake to me. But what would I know? I'm just an Australian. Well, most people would see this and think it's a coral snake because of the coloration. Um, There's actually a scarlet king snake. Now, normally the yellow is a lot brighter, but this snake actually looks like it's going to shed soon. So it's very dull. Even the red isn't that red. It's more of an orange right now. Um, so yeah, this snake's probably going to shed really soon, but they're awesome little snakes, very rare to find. So we got lucky to find this one. We certainly did. And it's another one of your magnificent colubrids. I mean, yeah. bright, colorful animals. Mm -hmm. And again, one of the ones very hard to find, so <laughs> it's definitely a plus for us. Been very lucky. And the road's still nice and warm, so still might be in luck, right? Hopefully, we'll see. Time will tell. The mosquitoes still like you more than Oh, yeah, and the mozzies are How, loving me. How's that bracelet working out for you? It's um, it's great. They're not biting anywhere here. <laughs> everywhere else but right there. 
which is uh, <laughs> not very reassuring. They yeah. should actually make a collar. <laughs> might work. Flea let's let's get this guy off the road and uh, keep going. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is, this is something absolutely bizarre to find. Yeah. Uh, definitely looked a little bit different uh, in the headlights, I tell you that for nothing. Yeah, the, uh, I actually only found these guys out here about a month ago. Um, as you see, the little male sitting on top there. Uh, probably breeding her, I'm sure. But got to be some kind of stick, stick insect. I mean, I've seen them a little bit brighter too in red, but they're still pretty look cool looking. That's pretty bizarre right there. That's the Everglades for you. <laughs> the Everglades <laughs> is a strange, strange place. <laughs> Okay, Will, I know you've got a lot of experience with venomous snakes and crocodilians, but guess what? I'm an Australian and I know exactly what that is. That's a corn snake. Yep, it's one of your uh, magnificent colubrids. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of the, probably the most standard colours, is it? Yeah, uh, the red rat snake. Or, um, here in Florida, we got three different colours of rat snakes. You got the red, the grey, and also the yellow. You can only find the yellow and the reds down here. Reds are the most common snake you're going to find here in South Florida. I mean, these guys are all over the place. Um, and the cool thing about the babies, I mean, you can literally pick them up right now and he won't even probably try to bite you. I mean, to find something that that, that color in the wild is pretty spectacular for us because, right. I mean, we're the country of the, the brown or the dirt snakes, really. <laughs> you know, a lot of our animals are pretty dirty colored. But that's pretty spectacular. I mean, you can see with those natural colors. For all that selective breeding that's around and it's probably one of the most popular pets I guess. Mm -hmm. They really are in, in the hobby here in the, the US and you can see why. It's just so attractive and gorgeous animal. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> I mean this is one of those ones that you want to find but you almost don't want to find. It's a pit viper right? Yes. Um, very distinct head shape. I, I definitely could tell that straight away. And it's a uh, cotton mouth. Water moxin also known as a cotton mouth. Uh, because of normally what they do, uh, this guy won't do it, but normally they'll row up in a, in a circle, their head in the middle, open their mouth nice and wide, showing that white tissue on the inside, and that's how they got their nickname. Uh, now this is actually another rare find tonight, because normally at this size, they're already all jet black, but the coloration on this guy is, is amazing. It's, it's stunning, it really is, because you never see him this size. Even his head is very, very light brown, um, which is awesome, awesome find, definitely. It's a, it's a beautiful snake, and I mean, is, is it true that the, the brown water snakes are almost very similar to these guys? In when they're coloration, babies, yes, they, they kind of mimic each other. Um, that's kind of like the scarlet king snake and the coral snake. Uh, you know, evolution of defense, uh, but it's yeah, they they they're pretty much mimic them. Uh, but again, as they both get older, they change. Yeah. So, uh, but that's more like for that baby protection kind of thing. Another great find. Yes. It's been an amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, another fun part. Yeah, let's get him off the road safely. Yep. So he doesn't get squashed and he doesn't get bitten. Oh, I have to do it? Well, you know, you are the local. I'm just the, the guest here. I'm, I'm happy to look at these things. But, um, you know, you're the one with the knowledge here. There we go. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> guy's a little bit more feisty, isn't he? <laughs> it's another cotton mouth, right? Yeah. Now you can actually see the coloration on this one. Very dark, um, normally how they are. Uh, very defensive. Yeah, very. I mean, his mouth, yeah. And the coloration's more of the typical sort of color that we yeah. expect to see. Yep. Something that will come out. No, 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 no. Now, I'm guessing um, because I'm Australian, you know, don't really have much experience with pit vipers. They've actually got heat sentry pits, haven't they? Yeah. Well, Will, I can tell you, I've been to three different continents and this would have to be a first. A freshwater crayfish crossing the road. You know, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm kind of very happy that it is a crayfish, or what we like to refer to in Australia is a yabby. Um, I'm glad it's not one of those eight-legged little things that I don't particularly like. What's that, spiders? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm not really fond of spiders. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy, he's full of attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight's been absolutely amazing. I mean, we found some giant insects, a few snakes, and to spend time with Will in his natural environment, right out here <laughs> in the bush, has been absolutely amazing. 
if you want to follow Will's adventures, just look below. All these details are there. Definitely give him a follow. It's worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. Leave a comment below. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, hopefully the mosquitoes aren't going to eat me. Thanks for watching Critic Cam. <laughs>